community, we are going to do things a little differently in this video because while most of our YouTube channel focuses on super charts or screeners or heat maps or calendars, we're going to take you to the markets tab on tradingview.com. So if you want to follow along with us, get to tradingview.com, hover your mouse over this markets tab and click. Now, once you click, you will be taken to the markets tab that is for you. We, of course, are recording this video from New York City, and you can see right here before our eyes, we can see the indices, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100. We can even move this further to the right to get some other interesting data points about our local markets. The New York Stock Exchange composite, for example, is right here. And with a click, we get this chart right in front of us. And if we keep scrolling down, we're going to get more and more information that is relevant to us. So you can imagine starting your day on a page like this to get quickly caught up on what's going on. Now, if you do want to change your region, you can click the drop down and focus on a specific market of your choice. So no matter where you are in the world or whatever market you want to follow, you have the capability to create a markets page specifically for you just by clicking this and then clicking the country of your choice. Now, as we scroll down, we're going to see some world indices data, U.S. stocks as well, and we can even see community trends. And you can imagine Reddit just IPO'd. There are articles about it. It's being written. It's being shared. It's all over the social web. Naturally, Reddit then is going to show up here so you can get a feel for what's moving, what's being discussed. And as you move down, you're going to get some other important data points, such as highest volume stocks, unusual volume stocks, the stocks with the largest percentage gain, the stocks with the largest percentage loss. You'll also see upcoming earnings, world stocks, so you can get a feel for what's moving around the world. This is largely based on their specific market cap. You can see world's biggest companies, how they're moving today and their market cap, the world's largest employees, just how many employees they have and how they're moving today, upcoming earnings, as we mentioned. You've got ETFs as well. As ETFs get more and more popular in markets, you can follow these large traded baskets of funds that cover specific symbols and assets and then get granular data about such ETFs. So if the first community trends section was about stocks, now we have community trends for ETFs. This might be rather interesting because you might find some ETFs that you never knew about or that are trading a certain insight that you just learned and is brand new to you. A great example is that this TMF says Direction Daily 20-Year Treasury Bull three times shares. So it's a three time share ETF. And that's rather interesting because something, you know, might be moving here in the 20 year treasury market. Heading back to the markets page, we'll just keep scrolling down, keep getting that broad overview of what's moving and what's happening. You'll really start to see just how much data and information is here because once we get beyond ETFs, well, now we're in crypto. You can see now these, the theme repeating, community trends, the crypto coins with the largest market cap, total value locked ranking, gainers and losers, and then we get to Forex. So just want to bring you back to that starting point of this video, which is you can imagine starting your day on the markets page, scrolling down and getting a quick feel and understanding for what's moving everywhere. So we are going to hover our mouse over this markets page. You can see here a bird's eye view of what's moving. It's really the same thing, whether you click the markets tab itself or the overview. Now, another important component of the markets tab is the capability to take this a step further. Now, recall we showed you all of those different features and lists as we scroll down this front page. You can also dive in deeper here based off of the specific asset class. We would encourage you to go visit these tabs to see how they fit with your specific investing or trading style. Because if you wanted to know what stocks are up the most today, you could scroll down on the page or you could hover your mouse over the markets tab, go to stocks, find top gainers, click once, let the page get created, it appears before you, and here are all the stocks that are performing the best today. Also, when you do start to understand these specific screens here, once you click into them, you'll see that you have these word bubbles that you can quickly access as well 
for the asset class that you're looking at. So you know what? Why don't we just look at all the stocks hitting all-time highs? We click once, scroll down. All of these stocks at one point or another today hit all-time highs. Why don't we go ahead and look at all of these stocks you know, that are moving today that have the most employers? We can just go ahead and click and we can see the companies with the largest employers, employees, we should say. So this gives you the capability to access some popular, quick, easy to understand, and fast screens as well. Now, on the markets page, there are a few more key things to pay attention to. And that is that you can indeed go get specific country data from the country tab. And also we have lists called Sparks that you can also access. These are topical lists for specific investments that you might be interested in. So if you wanted to just look at space stocks, well, there's a list called Space in Sparks that if you click, you will end up on this list here. Scroll down, you can see its performance, the symbol distribution, and then the list of symbols appears right before your eyes. So this markets tab can be a really effective research tool as you get started on TradingView. And we wanted to make this video just so that you know that it's here for you. And as a TradingView member, you have full access to these pages, these lists, and all of, these da all of this data. So if you're on the chart a lot, or if you're on the screener a lot, and you haven't been able to find maybe a new trade or a new idea, or maybe you're just looking for a way to better follow markets each, each day or each morning, you'll find that the markets tab has information for you. And of course, we have other videos on our YouTube channel that walk you through bonds. So if you know nothing about bonds and want to know how to chart all of these government bonds, we have a YouTube channel for that. If you're looking for more information about these asset classes, go check out our YouTube channel and explore what's available. But for the most part, the next step is in your hands. Get to tradingview.com, go to the markets tab at the top and start exploring all of these pages and lists that are waiting for you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let us know.